Hi, this is Jason San Jose with the Brackets team at Adobe. I just wanted to show off a new extension that I just built for Brackets called Bracket SAS. It's available on the Brackets extension registry. And what it does, it allows you to compile SCSS files from within Brackets and also lets you use Live Preview. What I have here in Brackets is a project using the SAS port of Bootstrap and I'm going to just uh, make a change to this SCSS file to compile it. And now you'll see in the project tree, there's a Bootstrap CSS compiled file and a CSS uh, source map as well. By default, the CSS file is in the same folder as your SCSS file and as the source map as well. You can change these settings uh, using the brackets uh, dot brackets dot JSON preferences file. You'll see here uh, for the main SCSS file, I've got the default options set up here. So now I'm going to switch over to my HTML file and start Live Preview. If you haven't used Live Preview in brackets before, it lets you see your changes in your CSS and HTML files without saving or reloading in your browser. To show Live Preview working with SAS, I'm going to open up this variables SCSS file and change the value of this brand primary variable that's used in the primary buttons labeled in the browser there on the right. And you see I've changed it to black and that the update is now showing in Chrome. I'm going to also show up uh, another visual example here. I'm going to change this border radius from 6 to 60 and you can see that the shape of all the uh, handles and buttons here that use the border radius now updated to this bigger larger radius. So those are the basics. If you want to find out more check out the GitHub project and uh, first you want to take a look at the readme. There's a few things I want to show here. Uh, the first one is that we only support the SCSS syntax and not the indented SAS syntax. Uh, I've also got some future plans here as well uh, for compiling the main CSS file when the import dependencies are updated, uh, implementing selector highlighting, swapping out the compiler with the Ruby implementation, and a few other issues that you'll find here on the issues page. Thanks for checking out this video on the Bracket SAS extension. I hope to hear your feedback on Twitter. My username is Jason San Jose, all one word, or submit an issue here on the GitHub project. Thanks.